In this tutorial, we'll learn how to schedule email delivery of a workbook export from Oracle Fusion Data Intelligence, or FDI. In this example, I'm an administrator that has been asked to share a workbook with a stakeholder on a recurring basis by email. I'll begin by locating the workbook that I'm going to share. There are a few prerequisites I will check before scheduling the email. The first is the workbook's location. I can only create schedules for workbooks in my shared folders. Workbooks saved in my folders are not accessible by others. On the workbook, I'll click the Actions menu. Since I don't want to export this manually each time, I'll use the workbook's schedule to set up periodic email delivery to selected recipients. In the workbook's dialog box, I'll select General to view the file name and location path the delivery schedule will use for this workbook. If this workbook is moved or renamed, I will need to delete the existing schedule and create a new schedule. Next, I'll click Share. As the service administrator, I have the required edit and view access shown here. Then I'll select Access. I can verify that as the service administrator, I have the required read-write access. When I click the Schedules tab, there are no existing schedules yet. I'll click New. In the Format tab, I can change the default name of the schedule if required. Then I'll select a format in which to share the content. It's important to know that I can only select Excel if I have a table or pivot table visualization in the workbook. If I select Acrobat PDF or Image PNG, I can choose up to five canvases to share. In this case, I have only one canvas. I'll choose PDF and allow AutoDetect to choose the best file size for me. I'll select the Schedule tab to enter a start date and pick a time. I'll select Repeat to create a monthly recurring schedule. I can choose a specific date each month, such as the first or numeric cadence like the fourth Wednesday of every month. I'll select the Email tab to enter the recipients. I can add Oracle Analytics users, application role, and external email addresses for recipients, but I must separate the addresses with a comma. I'll add a subject and enter the body of the email, which I can format and add links before saving. Optionally, I can choose to send a bursting email if the data visualizations contain confidential data to be accessed by specific application roles and user groups. This way, only users with data access permissions can view the exported file. Bursting does not allow me to send visualizations to external recipients that are not already configured in Oracle Analytics. After I click Save, the recipients will receive an email with the data visualization as an email attachment on the scheduled date and time. Now I can check the status of scheduled jobs and view, edit, or delete schedules of workbook emails. In this tutorial, we successfully scheduled an email to deliver a data visualization export. Find additional videos and more information on using Fusion Data Intelligence resources in the links below.